once again, and I'm dragging, dragging Tracy out in the middle of nowhere. That's a beautiful stone house. Uh -huh. To go to this cemetery called Forest Hill. Trust me, he's not dragging me. I came willingly. I took the back roads home from the pharmacy last Wednesday, a uh, way I had never gone before, and stumbled across this beautiful looking cemetery. It's all in the hills, rolling hills. Did I say it was established in 1874? You did not. Okay, well it was. We're just about there. There are so many little cemeteries around here, it's amazing. But back then, you know, you didn't go 20 miles away to bury somebody because it would have taken a long time on the horse and wagon. I also learned of another cemetery by the high school that I never would have known about. One of the guys at work told me about that. Thanks, Paul. Also, oh, we gotta go in there too. That's right. Stumbled upon this little store that I did not know was here called Gibbs Super Center. It's a pet supply store. Here we're going in there. Heck yeah, we are. Check it out on our way back. How funny! It's just like a store in the middle of freaking nowhere. They have ice cold drinks. There you go. <gasps> doodles! Saber doodles, golden doodles, poodles, and something else doodles. Oh my goodness, a breeder. A real breeder. Can I just come in and play with the puppies for a little while? We'll be back. Look at the monuments. We're going to do a drive through and see if we can figure out where's the oldest area I suppose would be really neat. Well, those are old for sure. Those are old for sure. Over there I see like Civil War because they got flags on them and stars so that is generally civil war. Hopefully we can find some interesting things to show you. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Wow, it's so big it's got sections. quite large too because it goes up and over the hill back down again style of the grave markers, but, but they all look old. Yeah, they all look old, honestly. Oh boy, I found the children's area. Wow, this is this amazing cemetery. Just a me. 
crazy. Place. It's huge. This is gigantic. This is like a big city <coughs> cemetery. Look at the size of this place, guys. I didn't know it was this big. Groundhog, what you doing? Holy shit, this place is huge. That's newer. That's all new stuff. Gorgeous place. Honestly, though, it's not the brakes. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And old. This cemetery must have been for really well-to-do people, honestly. It's... It's, um... These monuments are incredible, and they're huge. Seriously, you guys, these 
grapes are old. It just goes on forever. Oh, little Alice. Those had something else on them. And that, I assume, was little Alice's aunt. I mean, honestly, the thing is, these these stones look brand new. And look at the dates. Um, typical in that fashion. He didn't survive long after the birth of, death of his wife. That's newer, but obviously that was the family plot. I don't know whether to laugh or be disturbed. Again, guys, always go for granite because this is from... 1916, and it is already almost unreadable. Yeah, I know it's over 100 years ago, but there's some over there that are way more than 100 years old, and you can still read them clearly. Oh, that's going to take a rubbing. Goodness gracious. These are the old... There's so much lichen on some of these, I don't even think that a... See, look at this. You're talking about a stone that's been here for 91 years. Still perfectly legible. It'll still be legible 100 years from now. Granite. And a stone that's 10 years older, completely unreadable. Okay, now this is impressive just for what it is. Because if you look, that is all carved in relief. So they chipped away at all this and left the letters and the carving. That takes a lot. As well as all the other stones that were on here are also carved like that. So the name isn't carved in, the name is actually in relief. That's pretty neat. There used to be something on top, but it's long gone. Guys, I don't even know where to go next. It's huge. I could spend all day here. Those are definitely hand carved. They're not professionally carved, for sure. Wow. 
this one deserves a grave rubbing. There is an image of castles on here. I just got a message from the Echo that the dogs are barking. It's probably somebody going down the river in a kayak, I'm assuming. There's another old one. God, they must have been so beautiful. Ooh, we're going over there. That just tells a sad story right there. She died in childbirth. Because it says that she lived from 1850 to 1887, and it says infant Freeman, 1887. She had one child that lived till 11, one that lived to a year old, and then she died in childbirth. Wow. That is infinitely sad. Well, I found the portion of the cemetery for the hookers. <clears throat> I'm not even going to discuss the plausibility of this monument for people named Hooker. <clears throat> going to let that one go. Yeah, take a look at these. Completely destroyed. And not by not by anything, just by time. Oh my god, they're all just so pretty. Wife of A.D. Sherwood died March 26, 1875. 17 years, 3 months, and 15 days. Wife. Seventeen. Look at that. How beautiful. The bell flowers. That one comes off its base. When we leave this world of changes, when we leave this world of care, we hope to meet our missing loved ones from Father's Mansion's Fair. How pretty. Well, I'm thinking William must have moved on. Now that's pretty. She lives in the hearts of those who loved her. So many young people. And by young, I mean, you know, 20s, 30s, just. And then you see some that are almost 100 years old. I'm starting to wonder. Because this cemetery, apparently, Mike said, is 100% photographed. And I'm starting to wonder if families or volunteers or someone, because if you look at the dates on this, which is incredible.
incredible. Look at the birth date. But obviously that's a new stone. I mean, that clearly was not done in 1881. So I'm starting to wonder if people haven't gotten together and paid for new stones for those that were destroyed or illegible or damaged beyond repair. There was something on top of there, too. Nifty. I just started a chipmunk. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Just, it's just amazing. This place is gigantic. Okay, that's cool. That's just a cool one. Obviously early on in the Michigan State Police. One year, one month, and one day. Dogs are barking again. We're gonna need more than one day for this. That is cool. <sighs> Seven years old and five years old. So many people had children that didn't survive. Amazing the things we take for granted nowadays. It used to be that losing a child was commonplace and now at least it's very uncommon. Always a tragedy, but very uncommon compared to what it used to be. K-O-T-M-M. -M. I'm going to have to do a little research and try to figure out what that means. I'm not even kidding. I found the, gra the grave of Peter Piper.
question is, was he buried with a peck of pickled peppers? What's odd though, Henry Piper over here is spelled differently than his. His had an P-I-E-P-E-R and this says P-I-P-E-R. years old. Good Lord. Four years old. Less than a year old. In France, so I'm assuming during the First World War. Oh. And that one just says infant, so who knows? Not even a date. trip on the way back home it says big lake we'll see how big this big lake is which way to go me neither that's a chippewa lake doesn't it Stop at your stop sign. Thank you. Wow, it does look like a big lake. Trust me guys, there's a lake there. I know you can't see it, but there, there, there is a lake. It's, there we go. There's some little glimpses of a big lake. And it does look like a big lake. Here's a lake I never knew existed. something down this way but apparently it's a private lake apparently it's a private road private lake but pretty nice lake anyways 